Thank you to Windra, that was beautiful. Next, we have a large group from Albuquerque Academy, our Student Diversity Leadership Club. They will be presenting a topic that affects all of us in one way or another, gender. When I was a kid, I would sometimes secretly call myself Andrew would tug at the crotch of my pants the way only pubescent boys do, ran around pounding on my bare chest like Tarzan. It's not that I thought I'd grow up to be a man. I just never thought I'd grow up to be a woman either. From what I could tell, neither of those categories fit me, but believe me, I knew from a very young age never to say, hey, Dad, this Admar Eve thing isn't really working for me. I mean, what about all the kinds of people in between? In the third grade, Lynette Lyons asked me where all my Barbies were. I lied and told her I got in trouble, so my mom took them away. I didn't dare say, Barbie sucks, Lynette. And for that matter, Tommy, so does G.I. Joe. I want to grow into something none of us has ever seen before. And gender is just one of the ways we're boxed in and labeled before we're ever able to speak who we dream we are, who we believe we uh, will become. Like drumbeats forever changing, I'm living today as someone I had not yet become yesterday, and tonight, I will borrow only pieces of who I was to carry with me to tomorrow. No, I'm not gay. No, I'm not straight, and I'm sure as hell not bisexual. I am whatever I am when I am it. Loving whoever you are is when the stars shine and whoever you'll be when the sun rises. Yes, I like boys. Yes, I like boys who like boys. I like girls who like girls and girls who don't. Girls who don't call themselves girls, crew cuts or curls, or that really bad hair stage in between. Tell me we'll be naming our children beautiful and nothing else. Tell Barbie she can go now. Tell G.I. Joe to put his gun down and find a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a boy girlfriend. G.I. Joe just needs a friend. I mean, he's plastic and not even the kind of plastic that bends. I want to bend in a thousand directions like love does, like the sun does, like time stopped. So the hands of the clock could hold each other and we held each other like I held these words for too many years on the tip of my tongue. I am my mother's daughter. I am midnight sun. You can find me on the moon, waxing and waning, my heart full of petals, every single one begging, love me, love me, love me, whoever I am, whoever I'll become. Love me, love me, love me. Um, <laughs> that was Andrew by Andrea Gibson, and it was edited. Good afternoon. We are the Albuquerque Academy Student Diversity Leadership Club. One of our main goals is to advocate social justice and equity within our school community. Today, we have come to you with the presentation as an introduction to sex and gender and everything in between. The journey begins with these four scales, biological sex, gender identity, gender expression, and sexual orientation. Biological sex is pretty self-explanatory. It measures things anatomically, horm hormonally, and chromosomally. First on the scale, we have male. Males are characterized as having the chromosome XY. They also have sexual and reproductive or organs that are solely independent to males. They also have sperm, which when combined with an egg, can create human offspring. Next on the scale, we have intersex. Inter an intersex individual is when a human expresses both male and female characteristics. For example, one occurrence where this happens is in the syndrome, Klinefelter syndrome, which, are, which is where an individual possesses chromosomes that are XXY. Finally, on the scale, we have female. Females have the chromosome XX. They also have sexual and reproductive organs that are solely individual to females. Also, they have an egg that when combined with male sperm can create human offspring. Our next scale is gender identity. Um, it is measured in how you identify yourself, whether it be man, gender queer, or woman. Um, if you consider yourself to be a man, that would be identifying as a man, and it is only reported by the individual and therefore not measured. 
genderqueer is kind of a blanket term of everything in between man and woman. It can include people that feel that they are both a man and a woman, or neither a man nor a woman. Also those that feel that they can go in between the two fluidly. Also those that feel that they can't be defined by either term. Um, when you identify as a woman, it means you consider and identify yourself as a woman. And it's not necessarily linked with your biological sex, and it is an internal choice, which means it may not be outwardly expressed through um, like stereotypes that typically go along with women. Gender expression is how one portrays their gender to, the, to their outside world. Masculine, being on one side of this spectrum, is expressing characteristics that are traditionally associated with male gender or masculinity. This could include wearing male clothing, men's clothing, and having short hair, etc. <laughs> Other physical attributes can depend on culture, such as what broad shoulders and high cheekbones and broad facial features. Androgyny is when one's personal expression does not fit into typical gender roles of society. It can be um, expressed as beyond gender, between genders, moving across genders, entirely genderless, or displaying a variety of male, female, and other characteristics. Androgyny can be either physical or psychological, and it does not depend on your birth sex and does not denote one's sexual orientation. Feminine gender expression is expressed through dressing as what is decided to be the cultural norms of being feminine, such as wearing dresses, skirts, having long hair, wearing makeup. But as the definition of femininity begins to change and sort of blur the lines on this scale, this definition is still based highly on stereotypes and is associated with delicacy and prettiness. Sexual orientation is pretty much um, the people that you are physically or romantically um, attracted to. And um, heterosexuality is um, when there's an attraction between two members of the opposite sex or gender. Um, bisexuality is the ability to be physically and or romantically attracted to either gender. Um, bisexuality should not be confused with um, being non-monogamous. It is perfectly possible to be bisexual and in a committed relationship with one person. Biphobia is the fear or aversion or stereotyping of people who are bisexual, and some examples of biphobia are listed above. Homosexuality is when you're attracted to a member of the same gender. So, um, one in ten members of a given gender is a homosexual. Homophobia is um, aversion or fear of um, homo homosexual people. And um, there are a lot of scientific theories behind homosexuality, but the most important thing is it's not a choice. And um, there are some misconceptions about homosexuals, for example, they're not attracted to everybody of the same gender. So um, there are a few um, that are not, that are omitted from this, or um, um, there are like a couple of gaps in this um, system. And one of them is asexuality, which is pretty much the, um, there's no desire to share um, partner um, part relationships with sex, so like um, no like sexual attraction, um, and it shouldn't be confused with celibacy. Not to be confused with bisexuality, pansexuality rejects gender binaries because it's an attraction between uh, two people. Uh, people who identify as pan um, 
don't um, sorry uh, they don't have any objections to being attracted to people from any point of the scales of uh, gender expression, gender identity, sexual orientation, or biological sex. Two really confusing terms are transgender and transsexual. Um, the similarity is that they both imply a difference between your biological sex and your gender identity. Um, in transgender people, they can be anywhere on the scale of gender identity, just not where their just not the gender identity that their biological sex is associated with. Um, and these individuals do not choose to get surgery. Transsexuality is specifically when your biological sex is the opposite of the um, gender identity that's associated with your biological sex. And these individuals can be diagnosed as having gender identity disorder, but they feel that it is a physical disability and most of them choose to correct that disability with surgery. There is so much fluidity between sex and gender and therefore many misconceptions and stereotypes. The Albuquerque Academy Student, Diver Student Diversity Leadership Club, SDLC, feels that it is important to understand and educate how people identify themselves. The scales presented the scales are presented so that people can identify themselves as individuals, not dictate who they are. Thank you.